Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today is a day in Kananaski's country on Highway 40. Finally, finally, the weather is beautiful. You can see the blue sky and the clear mountains. It was very smoky throughout the whole summer. Last couple days we had a little bit of rain and at the same time temperature cooled off. So today is a Friday, I'm not working. So what's better than head out for a short ride uh, on Highway 40 through Kananaski's country to enjoy this spectacular view on this uh, road uh, frequently traveled by motorcycles, very scenic. This little stretch, it's not that far, it's about not even 200 kilometers, about 150 kilometers across. So I left the house about an hour ago I filled up here at Petro Canada on Highway 1 and now what's better than to take the bike for a spin. As you can see, you can already see the fall colors. Uh, the trees are slowly turning yellow as it is uh, cooling off and it's, uh, it's uh, pretty soon it will start looking very majestic. I haven't been here the whole summer pretty much. Normally I do this uh, this road once a year. Beautiful Turkus Lake. That's a barrier lake. Very Turkus water. And nobody here today because it's a Friday. And it is uh, mid-afternoon actually at this moment. So I'm gonna take it easy and I go through this little section and enjoy the wind. And uh, tomorrow I will be heading out most likely with the family camping for a couple days. Uh, I have four days off now as uh, I was uh, working for five days. I get to have the five days off and I'm going to put them in a good use. <laughs> I hope I didn't jinx that weather, literally like two minutes. I got across the hill and it's I have a big cloud above me and it's quite dark. But it looks pretty decent up ahead. So I'm hoping it should be okay. Even if it is not, well so be it. And it's really wonderful to have this uh, close to home. I'm not that far away from Calgary. Anytime I want, I can jump on a bike and uh, I get to see all this. How much better does it get? I could have gone to Banff, but I don't want to stay on that uh, Trans-Canada Highway. I'd rather take this through here. It's uh, quite, some, quite stunning views along this road. I love to enjoy that stuff. And uh, around September 7, the government is uh, starting to talk about bringing mask mandates. <laughs> I, I wonder how many follow, how many people will follow that crap again. How many people will fall for it again? They didn't do it first time. Not planning to do it again. Well, the guys on the dirt bikes, they must have done a probably powder face, and they're coming back. I did the powder face uh, beginning of this year and up front it's an at Nakiska ski resort. It looks quite weird without the snow. Yeah, I think I must have jinxed that weather at the beginning when I entered uh, Kananaskis. I had a perfectly nice and blue skies with just a few clouds. Uh, and now uh, I'm under the blanket of a uh, kind, of, kind of dark cloud. I hope it's just gonna pass through. Or maybe once I get to the other side it's gonna be a little bit nicer. But that ruins my view and the scenery around me.
it looks like the, some snow came in on top of the mountains there it looks quite fresh so no surprise as uh, yesterday in Calgary when I was working and uh, we had a uh, quite some hail and thunderstorm with snow a little bit that was in the midday it was uh, quite warm and then from nowhere it came in and uh, started hailing but thankfully nothing serious that uh, there was no major damages because it was small hail but it was really intense at these elevations everything is possible any time of the year pretty much this road here is not going to be open much longer they will close that for winter and not far away I think there should be a sign I think it's closed like from October till late April or even May I think there will be not too much more riding this year if it's gonna start cooling off as quick as it is I hope we're not gonna have the winter in a couple of weeks uh, two years ago I was still riding in December but uh, we'll see how it is uh, going to be this year we we had a super hot summer it was hot right through the whole freaking summer it started in uh, pretty much May but at the same time uh, all these uh, fires uh, they didn't help at all because it was really really smoky throughout uh, the whole summer pretty much and we still have a fire ban in effect uh, most of the British Columbia I don't know what they're thinking and people are believing all the crap that they're selling them uh, with all the narratives uh, from mainstream media which is quite ridiculous people buy anything in this country if, uh, what's being told on TV for them I can't believe that that nobody can think for themselves research themselves and actually start asking questions uh, that's quite ridiculous same thing as the fires in Hawaii anybody that has a little bit of brain and uh, did their research they were not natural uh, they called me conspiracy theories quite often I'm used to that that's okay but so far every conspiracy that was out there it became a reality and truth so it's not conspiracy they want to get the grab of power control everybody if people give up we're done if they get rid of our money they're done they go into the digital central bank currency they have a full control over us we can't let that happen cash is king but most people should know that without it government control every aspect of your life anything you sell anything you buy doesn't matter if it's a used item or a new item they'll know everything sun come out it's down to 12 degrees at this point it feels chilly I might have to yank out my sweater out of my box in the back sun is trying to get out now but it's uh, hiding still behind those thicker clouds and this is the best time of the year to ride it's not hot it's uh, 
as, as much as I like warm weather, but heading out on a motorcycle in that heat is crazy. And there we go, we got a mountain goat or a deer. I wonder what that is. Let's see her. Oh yeah, it's a ram. Yeah, there's definitely a fresh snow on top of those mountains there. It looks quite white. And anyways, uh, that would be melted if it wasn't fresh by, with those temperatures that we had. So yeah, it looks like it was sprinkling here with the snow and I'm pretty sure that that elevation is quite cold at this point. If, if we have uh, 12 degrees here, I'm pretty sure we're lucky if we get 6 degrees out up there. I'm just gonna pull over here for a bit, maybe take some photo, it's a photo time. Another rider taking pictures down in the ditch. Yeah, it is a Kodak moment out here, that's for sure. And up ahead we have another beautiful mountain range. The sun is shining right there on the mountains and it looks like the clouds are moving away from here. We're getting more breaks in the sky and uh, our temperature went up also by 2 degrees, so from 12 to 14. That's more like it. Yeah, this section here, like uh, comparing to Banff, that's more rock exposed on those mountains. In Banff, it's, um, the, the trees are growing way higher. Uh, but I have a feeling uh, I never compared the elevation. I think the elevation has something to do with it because uh, most likely here might be a bit higher elevation than Banff. In the last couple of videos I was talking about the DJI Osmo Action 4 action camera, the one that I'm filming right now, uh, that's mounted on my helmet. And uh, I was experimenting in the last couple of videos with the gain controls for the external microphone. And this, uh, what I came so far to the conclusion, uh, when I was riding out with my daughter to uh, Ship River Provincial Park, uh, I had the gain set to minus 12 decibels, which uh, actually sounded pretty good uh, when I brought it on my computer. Uh, it wasn't as windy as it is today, and today I have the same setting. So I like I have my camera set to 4K, 24 frames per second, sometimes 30 frames per second, and uh, the microphone that's mounted to the helmet, it's uh, set up at uh, negative 12 decibels. So this way I don't see it peaking too much, and. Uh, what I want to also update that uh, action for this morning when I connected it uh, to the helmet I noticed there was a new update and the new update uh, basically has a little bit different uh, game control for your microphone it's on top of the screen that shows you how far whether it's peaking or not peaking uh, on the audio that that was part of that update. I will read more what was in the update because I didn't have time. I was heading out uh, on a bike. So when you update uh, the firmware on a Osmo Action 4, be careful and double check your settings that, uh, that you have it the way you want it because it didn't save them for some reason uh, after the update. Where the 360, I never had a problem. Every time there's a firmware update, they update, uh, restart, and they back to my original settings. So the nicest part of the mountain is almost done. A lot of cows, uh, what you can see up uh, right ahead. 
I'm surprised they don't get eaten by bears. And those are nice and chubby. They chilling in the sun here and digesting all the grass. And watch, they're gonna be coming out on the road. They're so stupid. Look, she's standing right in the middle of the road and she doesn't give a crap. That's cows for you. I think when it comes to that, they're the dumbest animals ever. Any animal will run across the road and cow is just gonna stand and look with whoever cattle that belongs to has no brain because they can cause so many accidents. Uh, even though the speed limit here is 90, but somebody will uh, just drop nigh off the road and uh, they can nail that cow. It's not gonna be pretty. Like whoever is riding here frequently, people know, people are aware. But at the same time, there is a lot of tourists in this area and they're not familiar what to expect on, the, expect on those roads. So another thing that I'm kind of makes me wonder how those cows how does he find all those cows if they're scattered all over the place and uh, they pretty much roam free here well good meat that's for sure because it's naturally fed they eat what they want here mind you though the grass here is not the best quality because it's uh, like it's uh, pretty burned out throughout the summer right now it's uh, a little bit green because we there was a little bit of rain but uh, throughout the whole summer it's burned out to nothing and that grass is different. It's not as uh, thick as uh, the grass that which you would have in a field or on the, in a park or on the lawn. So it's a totally different type of grass that they're eating. One way or the other, it's still natural grass. So that's why all that Canadian beef, it's a grade A beef. A lot of cows here are raised that way. They, they are being fed naturally instead of just corn like a lot of uh, states are doing they're feeding them with corn and stuff like that but here they get to eat the good stuff what cows actually like to eat yes, I, I was thinking of going off-road today uh, to McLean Creek uh, to play around a little bit in the dirt but then I had a second thought while it was pouring for the last couple of days. It's going to be extremely muddy and uh, I gave up on that idea that that's not a short cruise. It's like uh, slightly over three hours when you're taking easy. You can ride quicker through there, through here, but that's not a point because I like to enjoy the view. I just go uh, like uh, between uh, 80 and 90 kilometers per hour and uh, enjoy the scenery around me. Uh, the only time uh, we didn't have any smoke is uh, when we went down to uh, on our trip to Idaho BDR and if you haven't watched those videos that I have posted from Idaho BDR uh, and you like that kind of stuff so just tune in to them uh, you'll find them uh, in my playlists maybe I'll link it at the end of this video too if anybody's interested because the local rides are fun but once a year we are always taking a longer trip down south usually uh, during COVID unfortunately we were unable to, we were unable to cross the border because we didn't comply with the government's bullshit with uh, all the vaccination and masking and crap so we were trapped here in Canada and uh, the only way we could ride is uh, in our country it still was a great riding because uh, Canada as a country is beautiful. Such a diverse sceneries and variety of sceneries from mountains to oceans. And uh, there's really, really a lot of nature here. You can see, see the, a lot of wildlife on the roads. So if you're not from around here and you're listening to this, yeah, it's true. Canada is uh, really, really as a country itself it's beautiful it's uh, the life uh, the wildlife the sceneries uh, what surrounds you and uh, it's huge coast to coast so there is something for everyone unfortunately we have one of the most stupid governments uh, that you can find on the planet earth probably close to New Zealand and Australia they're forgetting one thing that they're working for us instead of uh, they're making, uh, they're trying to make us as a slaves never after my dead body. I'm not giving up. Uh, I'll try to hold my ground uh, until I can. 
I'm not uh, getting vaccinated uh, because they want me to. I make those choices. It's my body, my choice. Not to mention the brainwashing of kids now with all this gender crap that kids are getting confused, don't know who they are. No matter what you had in your head, you are, there's two genders, men uh, and women, male and female. Uh, there's nothing else in my book. What, what people are, the thinking in their heads, what they're doing in their personal life, I don't give a crap. That's their life. If they want to be a cat, they can be a cat. If they want to be a man, wants to be a woman, fine. But don't get it to my kids. My kids are raised the way they should be. And they know what they are. So, no way. I, do, I will never comply with this crap. And actually, there's a huge Muslim community, community movement uh, that they started uh, against all this uh, agenda in schools that uh, teachers are starting to brainwash our kids. They're supposed to be there doing job, their job, teach our kids math, English, physics, chemistry, not concentrating on a parent, parent's job to see what their kids will should. And I speak about this often, same thing as when it comes to gay community. Fine, you want to be a gay, be a gay, but don't come out on the street and uh, make my kids looking at your crappy rainbow flags or whatever, run naked on the streets. No, I will never agree with that. This is something that I just uh, can't imagine how low people moved from where we were before. Do it at home, but don't wave those flags, stick them, sticker them all over the places. I don't need that. I really don't need that. Because uh, the straight people are not running around and not plastering their flags and uh, how they feel, making the protests. First it was a week, now it's a month of pride. So what kind of pride is that? What can you be proud of? That's, uh, that's an illness. And those people are like really mentally ill. It's uh, not something that, uh, that, that is normal. It's normal in their minds, and I respect that, but uh, to, to any straight person, this is not normal. And what the left is trying to push is uh, totally, totally, totally different. So yeah, I'm getting out of uh, Kananaski's country now, and as soon as I got, got out of here, it's 18 degrees. Much warmer, you can actually feel it. I don't wear nothing under the jacket except for my t-shirt today. It was a great ride. Still should be in time, like another 90 kilometers to get home. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. You can always comment uh, below from my conversation here. What are your views on the world if you want? Don't be shy. Stick those comments below. Do you fight for your rights or you just uh, follow? and agree with the government. I really appreciate to all the people that are subscribed on my channel, but I hope maybe one day it will come because a lot of people will watch the video or they will not subscribe. And uh, all the, not only me, but uh, many other content creators uh, filming those videos for fun. But at the same time, the, there's a lot of work involved in it. So that's a way of helping the creator. So yeah. I'll end now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.